What's up guys, Art Boy here. Today we're doing another video. So we're taking a look at the Sheffield um, Multi-Tool 2-Pack. Uh, let's see. Got that one side finished. There we go, to get the other side finished. Okay. So let's begin. So let's get started off with the sheath itself. So this is a simple black nylon, black and red, all highlighted to it, which is actually a pretty cool thing. It has a Sheffield right on there. Sheffield rights, placement rights. Got a Velcro on this side. And of course the one basically to and a flap to it. Two holes, one for the multi-tool and the other ones for the, the replaceable blade. Got a big old plastic piece on here that actually could be used as a clip and also have like a loophole in there for basically doing it with this side. Now let's get to the replaceable blade. Now, recently, I've actually did got something that was basically called as a true replaceable blade. I will actually it will eventually review that with the with a uh, with the Tanto piece too, which I hope I get that. So, so you got Sheffield right here. You got the so this is how you open. It. So this is how you open it, and this is how you close it. Well, lock back, and you could probably, for this one, you do have to place it like this, and to, to basically to place it back in, basically just press the button again. The old patented press one right here, and then you quick release. Warning, extremely sharp blade. Okay, sure enough. Of course, you got the plastic body, which is... Now, there's actually a second version of this one I have, which is... Oh, wait. This one's basically faded. A little bit faded. So it's kind of the same deal here. This one has that more, I guess, pop metal look, but I guess that's so. You can actually... Oh, wait, you can't because there's pins on these. You can basically take this one off with the torque screw of both sides. And, of course, a plastic, plastic clip. And, of course, a little hole for that to put things like lanyard and paracord and all. So... <clears throat> So the size on this blade is around about one inch. You know, for the body that holds the blade is around about nearly to two inches. Meanwhile, for the handle and while it's closed, it would be around about of four inches. Meanwhile, the overall size on this guy is around about six quarters. Now, let's get to our next piece. Now, certainly and finally at the least, the multi-tool. Now, this needle, this is basic, this one's a needle nose. It has Sheffield right here and nothing on this side. This one's a, probably a stainless steel body, black of it. You got a single sharp, single blade got a basic um let's see here a little little fill, flathead screwdriver a flathead screwdriver a normal one and of course a file right here meanwhile this one has a serrated edge i think these um i could bet this one's going to be stainless steel this one's look pretty not sharp but it is serrated so you got uh five big holes 
five bigs. Meowall. Seventeen sticking out. Meowall, the Holt Meowall, the curved. Is base is eleven. We got a can opener slash bottle opener. This one's probably just a tiny. I think it's a tiny blade, which is probably not that sharp. And of course, a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get to the size itself. Now, the size on the entire handle and while it's closed would be around about of three, three fourths. Meanwhile, for the needle nose deployed is around about six, six quarters or two quart or six quarters. Meanwhile, the serrated edge is around about two quarters. Meanwhile, it's uh, while it's closed and overall size would be around about six quarters. Meanwhile, for the Phillips, it's around about of one quarter meal for the overall size it's a roundabout of five quarters um five oh no only five inches meal for the i think a tiny blade is around about well just no one inch meanwhile for the overall size is around about of five inches meanwhile the bottle opener slash can opener is around about of one and a half inch meanwhile for the overall size is around about five quarters. Me all for the single drop point blade is around about of two quarters. Me all for the overall size is around about six inches. <clears throat> I know it's this stuff is taking me an eternity to, to basically to Meanwhile for the small Phillips or no flathead screw is around about of one inch. Meanwhile for the overall size is around about of five inches. Meanwhile for the normal flathead screwdriver is around about again one inch meanwhile for the overall size is around about of five inches and then finally at least is the file now the file itself is around about of two and a half inch Meanwhile, for the overall size, is around about of six quarters. Meanwhile, for the full body of it of this multi tool, is around about. <clears throat> Is around about of seven three fourths. So
So, let's test this bad boy out. So the results out there for the longer bladed side, single bladed side, this one's actually pretty went through the thing well. Yeah, this one's actually gave me the really, the most violent pinch I've ever gotten by far. Like, Jesus, man. It's not worse like the, the 112 Ranger LT, but this one's actually going on far with that one. But yeah, this one's pretty deep cut on that one. You know, for the series of the edge, series of the edge right here, this one actually did pretty well too. One big old cut, and then we got to this cut right here. Not bad. And now we get to, yes, I'm actually gonna you know for about a here the the replaceable blade box cutter knife, folding knife. This one actually did pretty well. I mean, like deep cuts it's like some just turn into a pinata a destroyed pinata of all things so that one's pretty did well which is very not bad so i give the sheffield multi-tool an astounding of i gotta say of a of a six out of ten it's basically a not bad piece for what it's worth. I mean, it's a pretty decent multi-tool. But uh, as you could probably know, and even the box cutter knife, which, I mean, they are, or the meant to be pretty much sharpened, or just replaceable blade. Oh, don't worry, guys. There is going to be a review of all of my of these guys don't worry guys but uh that wraps up of the of the sheffield multi-tool box cutter knife i'm Artillboy, boy and i'm signing out i'll see you guys next time